YouTube, what's up, man? Silent Mike, Third Street Barbell, 3SB.co for all your clothing needs. Today, my big three movements to grow your biggest back. Tap in, we'll finish off with a little bit of biceps. It's pull day. I am on a legs push pull twice a week, six days of training. Welcome to back day. Come along. So, uh, I don't care whether your goals are aesthetic, your goals are strength, your goals are sport or fitness. Um, back is kind of one of the, the, the mechanisms that I suggest most people train for hypertrophy. Um, the bigger muscles you have, the more stable you are, and the more strength you can build. So again, even if you're a power lifter, having a bigger back, bigger erectors, bigger traps, um, it'll do nothing but help you. And it won't really take away from training. Yeah, they're used in the movements, but they're not a main mover. In squat, bench, or dead, they're obviously stabilizers. So training your back three, four times a week, um, but at least twice, pretty good, should be the goal. Same with biceps. Like, yeah, they're not like functional, but they are stability in the bench. They are stability when we're pressing. So um, it'll just never hurt. And me personally, it's something I enjoy to do. Um, and again, if you're a bodybuilder, then we got to get after it. You got to train it just as hard as the other ones. There's still too many bros running around with these shrugged up shoulders and no back. Get those lats working, get those rear delts working. Um, and it doesn't have to be too complicated. You know, something kind of horizontal, some kind of wider grip, something more narrower grip uh, and more of a mid-range, and then something more, hor uh, sorry, vertical, some mid-range, and then something more horizontal. Um, and again, if it's pure hypertrophy, we're not focused on strength. I do like machines or cables, anything where you can kind of stabilize the rest and actually focus on moving the most amount of weight possible. There's nothing wrong with a bench over row. I absolutely love them. And I think as a secondary movement, if you're a deadlifter, it isn't a bad idea because we're still getting some stability from our low back, which is important to have a strong low back when you're a power lifter. But if you're really trying to hone in on those lats, getting at least one to two exercises where everything's as stable as possible, like a cable, like a machine, it's probably gonna benefit you in the long run. I'm gonna do one or two more biceps. Uh, cardio, we'll probably call it. So Dan's asking kind of the difference between doing like a preacher, more typical way using the pad versus what I'm doing going reverse. What's going in reverse is more like an incline. And basically it's just using your bicep in a lengthened position, which means the joint that's moving is our elbow, right? That's why it's a, a isolation, but our bicep connects at two different joints. And so when we face the opposite way, this allows our bicep to be in a lengthened and stretched position. And so then we'll work the bicep through that range. And then when I'm in this position, because again, it attaches at our shoulder, our AC joint. Now it's in a shortened position that there's no stretch here. So we'll do these second. So we'll do both. So these are more strict. Oh uh, no, both are strict because we're using that. So that's kind of the case with every machine we're trying to do. We're always trying to stabilize everything but the muscle we're using if you're trying to build muscle. That's why all these machines have pads on them, right? Because it's gonna hold you down as much as you can and you're only moving the joint you want versus strength training where you wanna be in the most free motion controlled because you're working on strength and movement. Here we're trying to work muscle 
There you're trying to work movement. USA PL Nationals. I don't really want to go, but they got real off gators in that shit. They do. They have a lake. They have a lake in there. You go fishing There's inside. No Look it up. What animals are in the pyramid? If there's a gator in there, I'll give you a hundred dollars right now. Animals in that. I'll whip my Johnson out right now. Excuse me. My soft heart Johnson. There ain't no fucking gator in Memphis, Tennessee in the lake. They got ducks that you can hunt in there, I'll tell you. They have ducks right across your fucking Yeah. No way, no way, no way. Oh, it's a swamp. That's a swamp. <laughs> you said the lake. No. no. Obviously, no, you can't say what's it What's it say? It says as the swamp in store showcases alligators in 30 feet. Where's the lake? Same thing. No, it's not. What makes a swamp a swamp and a lake a lake? The way the water is. Uh, no, that's a river. I'm a wrestle one. Yeah, I think. Um, Again, you just gotta keep things simple. And shout out to the guys that are really trying to be precise, but a lot of times we're, being, we're majoring in the minors. We just wanna do some kind of vertical row, wider grip, some kind of you know middle row, closer grip, uh, and then some kind of closer or wider grip, um, horizontal row. And mix those up, go hard, push yourself. More importantly than the exercise selection, which is such a hot topic, I think people just don't push themselves enough. Um, and again, if you want a bigger back, the back is a complicated structure. Uh, it gets complicated because our joint, our shoulder joint, uh, it's very mobile, so it takes it, it goes in a lot of ranges, right? It's supposed to move in a straight circle. Obviously, my shoulder ain't that great, uh, but that means that there's a lot of different muscles and angles that attach that joint to keep it in its socket. So, uh, bigger back allows a bigger bench. A bigger back allows a bigger squat. Bigger back looks good, fills out the t-shirts. Um, it's just the biggest uh, combination of muscles in our body and is a, a stabilizer in basically all compound movements. So. You want to look good as a bodybuilder, you want to look good as a bro, or you want to get strong as a powerlifter, strongman, etc. A bigger back will never, ever hurt you. Stay tuned. More push pull legs coming. Comment below what you want to see. Lyrics.co for this tee and many more. We're running out of sizes, but we'll grab yours now. Sell the mic. Catch you on the next one. New content every single day. Turn on notifications, share this with your friends. I appreciate y'all.